ربنا آتينا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وعينا عذاب النار يعني برجل الجنة ما أبرار يا عزيز يا كفار يا رب العالمين سبحان ربك ربك الإسلام So that's, that's the short uh, prayer session that has been held here at the Air Force Base uh, here at Bema Camp and the body of uh, the late Mion Lana is being carried into the chopper and will be flown to Yendi for the Islamic burial to take place. We would engage um, one of the foremost uh, persons here to give us uh, a breakdown of exactly what's going to happen uh, once we live here at the Air Force Base. Um, uh, let's quickly catch up with uh, the one who led the prayer session here to see if we can catch uh, a glimpse of um, what awaits back in Yendi. Salaamu Alaikum. Uh, my name is Latif Idris from Joy News. Um, condolence to all of us. Uh, may Allah give him uh, Jannah to Fadaus. May Allah pardon him of his shortcomings. And we just want to find out from you what is the arrangement once the body gets to Yendi in the next few hours. You see, it's a big chief. And since it's a big chief, we cannot preempt until we get home before we can preempt. <laughs> As a royal, the road to the Dagbon throne was cut out for Abdullah Muhammad, who quickly ascended to become Bolin Lana at a rather early age of 14, and later Mion Lana. As the first son of his late father, the late chief quickly rose through the ranks to become regent of his late father, the late Yana Muhammad Abdullah IV. For the past 30 years, as recent as December 2018, the late Mion Lana was also installed as regent of Dagbo. The 48-year-old survived by four wives and 12 children.